July 1st, 1862. You are standing at the center of the Union lines. Federal engineers selected this natural geographic fortress to protect McClellan's withdrawal toward the James River. From here, open fields stretched out before you for nearly a mile. Steep slopes and creeks guarded either end of the line. Nearly 40 cannon crowned the plateau. Despite the obvious advantages to the Union defenders, Robert E. Lee saw this ground as his last and best chance to strike the Union army before it reached the river. But circumstances worked to ensure disaster for the Southern army. Confederate reconnaissance was poor, and the federal defense proved impregnable. Late in the afternoon, charge after charge of Confederate infantry emerged from the tree line in front of him and marched straight toward the Union artillery. No Southern man reached the federal line. Darkness finally put an end to the hopeless Confederate assaults. Confederate General D.H. Hill said, It was not war, it was murder. The seven days battles ended here. The next day, the Union Army arrived safely at Harrison's Landing on the James River. McClellan's inability to capture the Confederate capital, combined with Lee's failure to destroy the Union Army, ensured a long, bitter war. Two years later, at the Battle of Cold Harbor, these same armies clashed again at the gates of Richmond. <laughs>